Hello students, myself Prabhuji Samanto. Hope you are all well. Dear students, this is the fourth video of the chapter Basics of Geometry. In the last video, we have discussed about types of angles and some questions of self practice 12b. Today, I am going to discuss about the left questions of self practice 12b from the chapter Basics of Geometry. So, let's start today's lesson. Question number 4. How many right angles does the minute hand of a clock turn in order to return to the original position? Dear students, just think minute hand is at 12. When it will be again at 12? After complete rotation. Okay, so complete rotation means what? 360 degree and you ask that how many right angles? Okay, so one right angle that means 90 degree. So 90 degree that means one right angle. 360 degree that means how many right angles? Is it clear? So what we will do? Just divide 360 degree divide 90 degree. That means 4. Write the answer the minute hand of a clock turns 4 right angles. Okay, that means 4 right angles means 1 complete rotation. Is it clear? Question 5. Tell whether the angles given below are acute, right, obtuse or straight. Okay, I hope you have learned what is acute angle, what is right angle, what is obtuse angle and what is straight angle. A. 28 degree. 28 degree that means it is more than 0 degree less than 90 degree that means it is acute angle b 90 degree so it is right angle 190 degree this is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree so it is reflex angle h 179 degree it is less than 180 degree so it is obtuse angle that clear question 6 name the number of right angles ok then we have to write number of right angles the hour hand on the clock face turns through in the direction from a 12 to 3 ok so what you will do listen properly just suppose the hour hand is at 12 Okay, that is the initial position. Here it is the initial position. So when after rotation it will be at 3, that means this is the position. Okay. So here how many right angles? Obviously one. How many right angle? One right angle. Okay. So how you will mind that? Like just see here. Right angle. So how many division? At 1, 2, 3. So when it will be right angle. Between these two hands, there will be two division here, one and two. Okay. So first, here write the answer one right angle. Now, see 12 to 9. 12 to 9. Just think, dear students, that 12 is the initial position. Okay. So when it rotates, so first 12 to 9. First, it will be at 3. Okay. Next, it is at 6. So, first right angle here. Next right angle here. And when here, next right angle here. So, how many? 1, 2, 3. Right answer 3 right angles. Next, 3 to 3. No need to do. 3 to 3 means what? Complete rotation. And in the last question you have learned okay complete rotation that means four right angles so write four right angles is it clear next four to seven just see here it is four this is the initial position and here it is the final position just see this is one right angle i have told that this is the initial position and this is the final position between them how many division two 
actually the not here two here look one and again two and here three okay so this will be one right angle right one right angle or you can think in other way one division that means 30 degree okay so three division that means three into 30 90 degree 90 degree means what one right angle okay yes students can you tell why one division 30 degree one division 30 degree here this is 30 one two two this is 30 two two three this is 30 one division 30 degree why because total here 360 okay and how many division 12 division how many division 12 division so one division that means 30 degree is it clear one division 30 degree so here one division two division three division 33 division 3 into 30 degree that means 90 degree so it is one right angle you can think in this way also is it clear very good now question number seven write three examples of right angles from your classroom so blackboard book table you see blackboard can you find the right angle yes or no is this right angle yes this is right angle okay similarly for book just see where here you can tell that this is one right angle from okay table table just see you can see here this edge to this edge okay or you can tell this also is it clear and you can give other examples also no problem question number eight can two acute angles be put together to form a straight angle give reason for your answer with example yes student just see can two acute angles acute angle means what angles which measures more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree and straight angle which measures exactly 180 degree okay so two acute angles so two acute angles somewhat it will be is it will be 180 degree no because one acute angle less than 90 okay so their sum will be obviously less than 180 degree not 180 degree write the answer straight angle measures 180 degree acute angle measures less than 90 degree the sum of two angles can never be 180 degree okay why because if one angle 90 degree okay other angle also 90 degree then it will be 180 degree but both are less than 90 degree okay so their sum will be less than 180 degree write this answer an example 60 degree and 40 degree are acute angles sum 100 degree which is not equal to 180 degree okay so 60 degree and 40 degree cannot be put together to form a straight angle i hope you have understood it properly question number nine given below are all the letters of english alphabet list the letters that have acute angles obtuse angle right angle yes student first a so here in a if i write a here in this way okay let's see this side one angle this side one angle okay this side obviously this is like this that means acute but in this portion how it looks it looks like this that means this is obtuse so write the answer here in acute angle also a and obtuse also a now b just see there is no angle formed in b c also there is no angle d there is no angle but e e what is there in e is right angle just see e like this okay how it forms it looks like this so here it is 90 that mean it 
will be at C. E similarly for F here in F also right angle. G there is no angle formed. H 90 degree that means in right angle. I no angle here. J no angle here. In K K also look here acute angle and obtuse angle. Portion here it is acute and but this portion it is obtuse. L is obviously right angle. M acute angle. N acute angle. Okay. O there is no angle. P there is no angle. Q there is no angle. R there is no angle. S there is no angle. T T right angle 90 degree. Okay. U no angle, V obviously acute, W obviously acute, X. Now, dear student, just see X. So, in X, we can think in this way just see this portion. If this portion acute, obviously this portion will be obtuse. So, X will be on both acute and obtuse. Okay, Y, Y also will be on both y just see in y in y this portion acute but this portion obtuse so y will be on both here in a and in b also z only acute okay just see here the acute angle um, is it clear Next, question number 10. Observe the diagram drawn alongside and tell about each of the following angles whether it is acute, right, obtuse, or straight. Just see and tell. A. BAC. Angle BAC. Where is angle BAC? B. Here is A. Here is B. Here is A. And here is C. That means this angle. So this angle, let's see this angle that means obviously it is acute angle. Write the answer acute angle less than 90 degree that means it is acute angle. Okay, now angle ABC. Where is ABC? Head is A, head is B, and head is C. That means this angle is also less than 90 degree. So less than 90 degree angle mean it is also acute angle Write the answer acute angle now angle acb where is acb just see here is a here is c and here is b so c is the vertex this angle acb this angle acb there is c or ca and cb are to raise so this angle so obviously this angle is what more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so it is obtuse angle right obtuse angle now angle adb adb what is adb here it is a here it is d here it is b that means this angle this angle just see this is a straight line okay so any angle like this this is straight angle this is straight angle so right here straight angle clear very good question number 11 copy the table use a protector to measure each of the following each of each angle in the figure and complete the table so first you have to measure the angle then you have to write kind of angle that means is it acute or obtuse whatever okay so angle qpr just follow it my dear students angle qpr first what you have to do you have to place the protector where here on pq here qpr first mark it which angle here q here it is p and here it is r that means this angle that means this angle you have to measure 
okay you have to measure this angle so place the protector okay on your book you just place the protector okay but i have noticed when you put the protector okay you will see there may be problem that the razor too short what you will do first by pencil extend this raise first by pencil extend this raise on your book by pencil extend this raise otherwise if this is short you cannot count is it clear first extend all the rays by pencil is it clear extend all the rays by pencil now just put the protector okay because these rays are too short to measure so first extend these rays then put the protector now qpr this angle just see here it is 0 degree so 0 then 10 20 and here it is it is at 30 degree it is at 30 degree so right here that angle qpr 30 degree kind of angle 30 degree obviously it is acute angle is it clear next dear student now we will solve e qpt where is qpt here it is q here it is p here it is t that mean this angle this angle okay this angle you have to measure okay so you have to put the protector where in any one of the ray here ray pq and here ray pt you just place the protector on pq okay now just count here it is 0 10 20 30 here it is 90 degree so right here 90 degree and 90 that means right angle okay now gq pu here it is q here it is p and here it is u just see that mean this this angle you have to measure so place the protector and count here in my picture it is what it is 110 you measure from your book whatever angle you will find you write that okay it may not be same okay what measurement you will get write that right here 110 that means it is obtuse angle is it clear now d r p t r p t what is r here it is r p t okay so and what is the angle this angle here it is and here okay that means this angle r p t so what is the this is one ray PR and this is another ray PT. So when you will place the protector, you have to put the protector on any one of the ray. Okay. So you have to put the protector in any one of the ray. We will just put the protector like this on PR, not on PQ. Is it clear? Keep in your mind that you have to put the protector on anyone the initial line will be on anyone of the rays okay here it is zero degree now just see here this angle you have to measure just count here in my figure it is 55 then it is 50 then 1 2 3 4 5 okay so it will be 55 degree 55 degree that means acute angle your yeah, students you measure from your book okay the measurement you will get right on the table is it clear i hope you have understood today's class properly if you have any kind of doubt please ask me okay and solve the net sums of self practice 12b by own thank you